today's video, I will show you the process of designing a logo for a coffee brand. I will walk you through the design steps of the project from brainstorming and sketching process that helps me to get unique logo design ideas to designing the logo in Adobe Illustrator using different tools that make the process more efficient. And finally, how I present and deliver the project to a client. Just a small introduction about me. My name is Nastasia. I'm a lead designer and also a co-founder at AG Global Designs. We are super passionate about design and helping businesses get to the next level with a strategic website, branding and marketing solutions. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you can be the first one to get notified when I post new videos. Let's start the project by analyzing the client's brief. You need to get as much information as possible from a client about the project as it will allow you to understand the client's vision and logo design requirements. I'm going to write all the key points about logo requirements in the Word document. The company name is Coffee Cup Cafe. The logo is going to be in a brown color palette. The main logo elements are going to be coffee bean and a coffee cup. And the logo is going to be in modern and elegant style. And now it's time to come up with the logo design concepts. I'm gonna go on Pinterest and try to find some inspirational ideas of the logo designs and other design elements that will help me to design a logo that I have in my mind. Then I take the design elements that I found on Pinterest and I paste them into Illustrator artboard so I can reference them throughout the process of sketching logo design concepts. The logo is going to have two design elements, a coffee bean and a coffee cup. I'm going to start thinking of how I can combine these elements together. From the sketch I have drawn, I pick the best logo design concept that I think is the closest to my initial idea. Then I take a picture of the design concept and I bring it into the Illustrator artboard. Before I start designing, I'll just tell you a bit about Adobe Illustrator software that I will be using to design a logo. Adobe Illustrator is the best tool to use for various design projects, such as creating logo design, packaging design, business card design, and more. Illustrator is the best tool for designers to create vector graphics. It means that the graphic can be resized to any size and it will stay highest resolution. So you will Illustrator is a great tool for designing print materials, such as business cards, flyers and banners, as it keeps the graphic in the highest resolution possible. Also, it allows to add extra padding or bleed to make sure your print projects look professionally produced. Illustrator has many tools that allow to fully customize graphic and make the design process more efficient. For example, you can create reusable components, such as an icon library, and form elements that can be reused and manipulated many times over. If you don't have an Illustrator software yet, make sure to check it out. You can check out Adobe Creative Suite subscription on their website. I'm personally subscribed to all apps as I use all of the apps for various projects. Or you can subscribe to individual apps. I start designing the logo by choosing typography that might be used in the logo. I pick a few variations of the fonts. For this logo, I'm going to go with the first font for the main text and the last font for the secondary text. I'm just going to share with you the websites I use to download free fonts. There are a lot of different websites, but personally, I like to use these websites to download free fonts. 1001 free fonts or font space. I prefer to use these websites as they have a huge selection of free fonts. Then I choose the colors that I want to use in the logo. To pick the color palette, you can go to Adobe Color Wheel. It's a free tool that you can use to pick the colors for your project. You can input the color hex code and it will automatically generate a color palette. Or you can just drag the points on the color wheel to get the color. And also you can apply the harmony rule that is located on the left hand side. 
However, you can also go to Explorer tab and type in the color in the search bar. And it will automatically generate lots of examples of the color palette. Make sure to check out this tool. As this tool will give you a lot of color palette options and inspiration for your project. Adobe Color Wheel has a lot of other options and features. So make sure to explore and check them out. I just want to mention that in this Illustrator tutorial, I'll be sharing with you a lot of tips and shortcuts that make the design process more efficient. So don't forget to take notes. As the main logo design elements are going to be coffee bean and a coffee cup, I will start designing a coffee bean as the base of the logo. Using the circle, I'm going to create an ellipse shape. Then I draw a curve on the middle of the ellipse shape. To do that, you need to select the curve tool and then draw a curve by placing points to form the curve. Then I'm going to increase the thickness of the curve by increasing the stroke. Then we are going to expand the curve by going into the Object tab in the menu and then selecting Expand. The curve converted into the object. Then I'm going to select the ellipse shape and the curve. In the next step I'm going to take the Shape Builder tool that you can find in the toolbar. Then I'm going to press Alt on the keyboard and then I'm going to drag the mouse to delete the unwanted shape. And now we got a shape that looks like a coffee bean. I'm going to create a handle by referencing the image using a curve tool. Then I'm going to make the edges sharp. To do that, you need to go to the toolbar, right click on the pen tool, from the drop down menu, choose anchor point tool. Using this tool, you can make any point on the curve sharp. The next object I will be creating is steam. It will represent that the coffee is hot. To make this steam, I'm going to use the curve tool again. Then I'm going to increase the thickness of the line by increasing the stroke. And to make the line to go from thick to thin, you can go to the top of the menu and select the stroke style. I will select the second one from the top. Make sure you select Essential Classic as your workspace as it will display all the essential tools in the menu. Once the curve is ready, I'm going to duplicate it. You can easily duplicate the object by using this shortcut. Hold Ctrl and Alt at the same time and drag the object. And now I'm going to reflect the object. You can do it by selecting and then right-clicking on the object and under Transform you can see the drop-down menu where you can select Reflect. Then I'm going to add a design element that will represent a reflection on the cup. I'm going to draw a curve using a curve tool. Then I'm going to select a stroke style. You can find it in the top menu. I'm gonna go with the width profile number 4. And now I'm going to create the top of the cup. I'm going to make a duplicate of the top of the coffee bean. I'm going to leave it aside as we will be using it later. I'm going to turn the filled shape into the stroke by switching the color. Then I'm going to cut the shape. To do that, I will get a scissors tool in the toolbar. To get scissors tool, you need to right click on the eraser tool. Then from the drop down menu, you can select scissors tool. Cut the shape on the points and then delete the bottom shape. I'm going to bring back the object that I left aside. And then I'm going to adjust other elements until the icon looks good. When the icon is ready, I'm going to add the text. I'm going to add the primary text with a script font style. And secondary text with a sans serif font style. Then I'm going to add a design element. The lines on the both sides of the word cafe. After the logo is done, I'm going to make vertical logo and also the icon. 
When the logo is finalized and the client is happy with the logo, I start making a general logo style guide. Style guide is a document that will allow the company to stay consistent throughout different platforms, such as website, social media, or different marketing materials. The style guide includes the typography and colors that have been used in the logo. Also vertical and horizontal logo examples and also icons. I also include imagery to see how the logo would look like on the top of the image with the design elements. I include the logo mock-up and a business card design. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make a video of where I show how to make a full brand style guide for a business. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And see you in the next video.